Welcome back to the channel, folks. My name's Shane. This is part of our Keys to the Guitar Shop series that we showcase here on the In The Blues channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be comparing the Orange Tremolo 30, which is the 30 watt valve amplifier, up against the Marshall DSL 20CR. Now, if you saw my review and critique of the Orange Tremolo amplifier, I wasn't a huge fan. It lacked a lot of the 3D projection that all of the other amps I've tried in a live situation generally have. So I have a hard time kind of recommending this and I wanted to put it into context up against another amplifier, which isn't even 30 watts. Now, when you're comparing 20 to 30 watts, there's really not gonna be an appreciable difference in terms of volume, except this time there is. This is one of the things that really shocked me about the Orange amp. The Marshall just wiped the floor of it in terms of tonality and how it sounded in the mix. It's far more voicey, it's louder, it just handles pedals better, and just about everything about it sounded better to my ear. That's not to say all orange amps are bad. I give you my honest opinion on stuff, whether it's good or bad, and what my experience is with it. Now, I never have a problem getting my sound out of almost any amplifier I've owned or tested over the years. It's generally pretty easily, but the Tremlord lacked a lot of that 3D projection in comparison with the Marshall, and I wanted to show you how they sound in comparison to each other so if you're thinking about either buying an Orange Tremlord 30 or a Marshall DSL 20CR, this video will hopefully be helpful. Let's take a listen. So that's the Orange Trim Lord 30. Let's go over to the Marshall DSL 20CR.
All right, so there you go. Now, can you hear a difference in the room? I know I could, and the Marshall wasn't even cranked. So just to let you know, I put this into context, I'm just using exactly the same effects with the amplifier set up very comparably, except the Marshall was nowhere near being up to full blast on 20 watts. It was so much louder and prouder. All right, you happy with that now? That sounds really so good. Much better. Oh, this amp is awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, it's not even like... It's got, every, it's, yeah. got, it's got a big full, it's much louder than I thought it'd be too. Yeah, it's good. It's got a real pipe. Made the other one sound really weak. Yeah, it's uh, this weak. The clean channel had more headroom. It had less compression. It was far better as a pedal platform. And you also get that ultra gain channel. Now these are very comparable amplifiers both size-wise and both the fact they've got a 12-inch speaker. Surprisingly, one of my least favorite speakers of all time, the Celestion 7080, is in the Marshall and it works great. There's two amplifiers that that speaker has worked great in. The Marshall DSL 20 amplifier combo and also the Artist Tweet Tone where I've tried other speakers and the stock speaker, the 7080, delivers the goods. So I just wanted to put this together to give you context on what I hear in the room as a guitar player playing live for a number of years and knowing what to listen for, I'm pretty certain you should be able to hear the difference between both amps. Now, before anyone thinks maybe the orange was faulty or anything like that, it wasn't, it worked fine. It just didn't give us any kind of vibe in the room. And after playing a couple of songs with it, we ditched it and in favor of other Marshall amps. Now, I'm not sponsored by any of these companies either. So yeah, that's just my experience using it. I'm sure people will have a different opinion based on their particular ear taste and tone and all that kind of stuff it's all subjective stuff right but i know a lot of people look to me for advice when it comes to gear so that's what this video is all about so let me know what you think did the orange eat the marshall alive or did the marshall eat the orange alive eat the orange alive anyway if you want to find out about these amps links to them will be below massive thanks to sky music for letting us shoot at their shop and i'll catch you on the next video see ya